Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So happy halving day yesterday. It was a very nice halving event. We had many nice live streams going on and so far nothing really happened. I mean we had this dump during the weekend. We created this big future gap up to $10,000 and so far nothing big happened. The good thing is that we have this $8,000 so far as a support and right now everyone is waiting for the next move and i still think we could see a potential little drop even down to 6k but all in all for the long term i think we are still very bullish and everything is still looking very bullish for the long term maybe even for the short term now so i don't have my long position anymore since yesterday i got stopped out but I'm planning to open a long position, especially if we are moving again towards $8,000 and I'm trying to scale it in down to 6K if we're going that low. If we're gonna even drop below 6K, then anyway, the price will be so cheap that you can uh, rebuy Bitcoin so cheap again, so it wouldn't be a big problem, but I definitely don't want to miss out the next big bull run and that's why i think now since the halfening happened now it is time to look for long term long trades so just as a reminder guys we have this big future gap up to ten thousand dollar right now and we also have a very small tiny one down here at seven thousand six hundred dollar which you can see in the one hour and four hour time frame it's a very small one and older one from april so this one over here up to ten thousand is more more recent and much bigger that you can also see in the daily time frame so if we start here in the one hour time frame you can see that currently we are trading above the 20 moving average which is a bullish sign so far every time we went above here we topped out at the 200 moving average in the one hour RSI right now is right at the 50 and stochastic overbought so I think we could stay in this area here for a couple of more hours or days even it doesn't look like that we're gonna break out here from this pattern which we don't know yet if it's gonna be a bullish or bearish pattern and if we go over to the Bollinger Band you can also see that we're trading right at the top so it is possible that we're gonna retrace back down here into the middle area towards 8660 even down to 8500 MACD is still shifted to the upside so we could bounce here from the middle line but we have to see it is possible that we're gonna go towards 8500 or lower again and if we go over to the four hour you can see that so far we didn't close above the 20 moving average again so in theory right now this moving average here at 8920 dollar is giving us resistance and we're also trading below the 15 dollar RSI so I still think that the momentum could be shifted to the downside so even if you're longing maybe Make sure that you could handle if we're gonna go down towards 7 and 6k because right now it looks like that we are shifted to the downside and you better potentially think about to short here the 20 moving average in the 4 hour than trying to long here the resistance only as soon as we're gonna have a close here above the 20 moving average I think we could be shifted again to the upside towards 10k but we have to see what will happen once we're gonna close the candle above this moving average and also bring the RSI above the 50 level stochastic is also coming into overbought territory so i think there could be another push to the downside coming up pretty soon so don't panic in case that we're going again towards 6k it is very likely to happen after this top out of ten thousand dollar even though we have this future gap up to ten thousand it doesn't mean that we have to go immediately to close it we also can go first towards 6k before closing that gap and that's why you should be ready to long if you want to long down to 6k because if you can do that you can take even more profits with you once we're going up to close this future gap to ten thousand dollar and we can also have a quick look on the bollinger band in the four hour because here we are currently trading here in the middle area after we overshoot it, it to the downside so now in theory here is the big test if we are able to break through again through the middle line here so breaking this nine thousand dollar resistance or are we going down again to the bottom area at around eight thousand one hundred thirty dollars you can see that the MACD is gonna have a bullish cross here pretty soon if you if we continue to trade like that so this could indicate that we could break this 9000 pretty soon and start to trade again towards 
$10,000. dollars So the four hour time frame all in all doesn't look too bad even though the 20 moving average is still above us and we still have to close a candle above this moving average. In the daily also it looks quite nice. We are bouncing from the 20 daily moving average. We always came down to the 200 and the bulls immediately bought this dip back up towards the 20 daily and also you can see that here the RSI cooled down to the 50 level and stochastic is in oversold territory. So the daily time frame is still looking very bullish. Also if you go over to the Bollinger Band we just retraced back down to the middle area and we are seeing a very nice bounce from it right now. Here we have a bearish cross on the MACD which could be bearish but we have to see how we are gonna trade here and if we are able to build up a support above 9000 to 10000 dollar then maybe here the MACD is not any more valid and we start again to trade to the upside but here this is something that you have to keep in mind that here on the daily we have a bearish cross in the MACD and a final look we can give here in the weekly time frame because also here we are still trading above the 20 and 50 weekly moving average RSI just started to trade above the 50 and stochastic is coming in overbought territory so also here we have a lot of few left to the upside and here in theory the 50 level in the RSI should give us enough support here to bounce to the upside so also here here in the weekly in theory we should be still heading to the upside and it's still looking very bullish also based here on the Bollinger Band and on the MACD we had here a bullish cross and also we came above the middle area so in theory right now we are trading between 8000 to 10700 dollar and since we are quite at the bottom here I think it's still a good opportunity to long this dip. But as I told you, it is possible that we could maybe even go down here towards 6,000 before we're seeing another leg up towards $10,000. And if you also want to take advantage of these big pumps and dumps and you want to take as much gains as possible, then you need a Bybit, Femex, Prime XPT or BDR account because there you can trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100x so with small amounts you can do a lot of gains here and if you're using my sign up links you can get some rewards and sign up bonuses so make sure to use my links and check all these four exchanges because they're giving you some free money some free rewards and you can start to trade with that money completely riskless and don't forget also to join the free discord trading chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and also i'm doing the live streams over on twitch so make sure also to join the twitch channel subscribe to the channel here leave a like if you like the content and we see us all in the next one thank you very much for your support guys and have a nice one bye